Well, here's an update for you guys. Step one, our shop project here. Cement is down. Still wet, obviously. They just left. But here's our first uh, cement slab. Put that guy right here for now. Once it gets dried up. Back there, little walkway. Then step two, this side over here. Get this formed up. This side needs permits though, because uh, the actual building itself is gonna be on this side. Pretty much kind of drive in and then back up into the building here. I want to match the house as much as possible so it doesn't just look like a just an addition it just came out of nowhere i did look into those steel buildings that they come and build it for you and it's kind of like ready to go but i was like man a steel building in the backyard is just i don't know it would work it's just not going to look that great. So I opted to bring an engineer to come through and shot him a couple ideas. What I want to do with it. What's it going to be used for. And uh, he shot back a couple counters. Maybe we could do it like this. Maybe we could do it like that. And... Uh, the outcome is still yet to be determined, but I mean, if you guys have watched my previous videos, pretty much every every truck I've ever built, I just I've built it on dirt, you know. And those that build cars, even as a hobby, you guys know the struggles of building something in your backyard in the dirt or in a little small slab of cement that you might have. And sometimes you tear it apart and then stuff's just in the way or it's gonna start raining and you've already tore apart everything. Now you gotta try to move something where it doesn't get wet, doesn't get rusted out. And you know what? Honestly, I just got kind of tired of it. God has given me the opportunity to Invest a little bit of money into into a, a a dream, you know. Now this might take a little bit longer than expected because I didn't know the whole process of getting something cleared by by an engineer and the city, you know, uh, everything that needs to be signed off, what you can build where you can build it, how you can build it. But, you know, it's a learning learning opportunity for myself. And, uh, you know what, I think it's, it was something I've been debating for a long, long time. And uh, it's time to do it, you know. At least in the meantime, I will continue with the build. Uh, if I just park it right here and uh i don't know throw a couple canopies or something well i have a i have a 20 by 30 canopy which is going to be where we're going to continue to build this in the meantime and i mean if if i've been able to put something together in the dirt i could definitely put it together under a canopy on a brand new piece of cement slab so follow me if you like to see the 
process of building a a shop truck look uh patina kind of a budget build maybe on a slightly higher budget um i got pretty big plans for this one i do have some uh 24 inch billet wheels going on this thing air right suspension is uh, coming in has been ordered so we'll be doing the monster notch or the big c notch air right suspension uh all right here if you guys are interested in checking that out well then here we go let's get it 